Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thanks so much for tuning in. And for this one, I'm sitting in the 2023 Toyota Sequoia. This is the capstone model, which means that this is the luxurious version. And I wanna give you my driving impressions about it because there is a lot to know about this all new Toyota Sequoia. Now, first of all, this is built on the new F1 platform. This is shared with the Global Land Cruiser platform, which is the LX600 and also the Toyota Tundra. This is built on a high strength, fully boxed body on frame construction. And it's equipped with a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and it has iForce Max. Now that engine is usually on select Tundras, but the iForce Max is available on all Toyota Sequoias. So it's making that 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. And that's connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Mileage figures aren't final yet, but you should expect the same mileage figures as a Toyota Tundra with the iForce Max as well. And for this video right now, I'm in Texas and I'm driving towards Eagles Canyon Raceway, which is about an hour away from Plano, Texas. I'm here for the Toyota headquarters confidential event where I reviewed like a bunch of new Toyota and Lexus models. So if you wanna see any of those videos, check the link in the description box. But for now, I wanna give you my driving impressions driving through the highway, which is I-35 right now going westbound. And let me share with you what I think of the Toyota Sequoia so far. Now, this is a much more comfortable SUV compared to the older Sequoia. The older Sequoia was kind of a lumbering beast. It was a bit slow and it was very hefty. With this one on the new platform, this feels more nimble. This feels like a lighter weight vehicle. There's also different driving modes on the Sequoia. There's actually six driving modes. The first one is Eco, which means that it's going to change the tuning of the engine so that it runs a bit more efficiently, giving you more mileage. And then you could switch it to Comfort, at which point there's adjustable suspension on this thing. So it makes the ride a bit more compliant. And then if you switch it up to Normal, that's the Normal mode. When you turn on the car for the first time, it stays on Normal. And then you have Sport S, which means that it's going to change the throttle response slightly. And then you have Sport S Plus, which will again change the throttle response of the engine and also change the suspension damping so that it's more sporty feeling. And then finally, there's custom mode, which you can adjust all the different driving parameters that I just mentioned. I like how when you change the driving modes, the gauge cluster changes its look. And that's the beauty of the fully digital instrument cluster. That's a new thing for the Toyota Sequoia. If you looked at the older Sequoias, it was very analog. In here, it's very digital. You've got the fully digital instrument cluster. You've got the big 14 inch touchscreen on here, which has the new Toyota audio multimedia system. And I love this thing so much because it's so intuitive and it's just very easy to use and everything is just logically laid out. I love the pinch to zoom functionality on the map here and it's really easy to navigate. The one extra feature of the capstone model is that you get acoustic glass, which means that it's going to filter out some of that road noise from the outside. Now I can tell you right now, it's pretty serene in here. I mean, the ride is awesome and it's also relatively quiet. I like it. Let's do a little bit of a zero to 60 test. I'm in Sport S Plus mode. Let's punch it. And we're at 60. Oh man, this thing has some pull. What's going on? Now, I'm in the TRD Pro Toyota Sequoia. So the difference here is that this has Fox shocks 
and it also has that quarter inch aluminum skid plate at the front. Uh, but hardware wise, this is pretty much the same, again, aside from those shocks. And we're gonna go through some off-road course here in Eagles Canyon Raceway. From the get-go, this isn't too bad right now, but it's still not a bad ride. Those Fox shocks is kind of dampening out the road imperfections a little bit. And we're gonna pull up to our first station. I'm just gonna wait down here because there's a big hill wait for the next car. Now, while we're waiting for that car to go up, the TRD Pro only comes with four wheel drive. The other grades, you could actually get a two wheel drive version if you want. So we got the go ahead, let's go up. Going up. Easy. Beautiful. How Morning. Are you today, sir? Doing Good. Good. How are you? Doing wonderful. Doing great. Awesome. So, uh, what do we got here? We're going to do a little uneven road right here. Our double side tilt, um, it's a little too muddy. You'll slide off. So, we're going to do the, the, the whoops here. We're going to go around over the hill, a little side tilt, and then you'll continue on. Okay. If you notice right here, we're in four high. We'd like yeah. to get the vehicle in the four low. So, put All right. neutral for me. Neutral. And then this new, yep, go yep. ahead and push it down, pull down. You're going to see it go from four low to four high. Yep. Uh, four high to four low. We're, we're locked in. Okay. And now what we're asking you to do is just look all the way down. Just mm -hmm. keep your hand straight. When the vehicle starts pulling this way, you're naturally going to want to steer it straight. Yeah. Uh, feel how the vehicle is going to handle the, the suspension, uh, how you're going to feel it deliver the torque and kind of get you through. Just, okay. Just nice and smoothly. All right. So once again, uh, soft hands, thumbs yeah. up. Look all the way down the road. As soon as you're over those hills, we'll bring you around side. All right, Have I'll fun. meet you over there. Okay. So we're going over these moguls right now. Keeping the steering wheel straight. It's just like taking steps. All right, so we're going around the first obstacle because it's a little too muddy. We're just gonna go through the hill here. All right, got the go ahead. Next section. Good morning. Good morning. We're just gonna get go. Your, yeah. Get your camera on. Got the camera get your on. View, no, yep. the view. Oh, the uh, view. Okay. There you go. There we go. That'll show you where that flag is, so that you don't run over the flag with oh, your right. back tire. Okay. All right. Good deal. So we're gonna go up this hill. Oh. Come down a little bit. Okay. How am I doing up there? Getting close. Oh, good. All right. All right. Uh, what I want you to do right now. Sure. Give the. Uh, we're gonna put the diff lock on, which is that same row of buttons. Yeah, that one. Okay. Go ahead and push it. All right. So right now, oh, it actually went in. A okay. lot of times it'll flash, which yeah. means that the gears are hitting on end. Yeah. So you got to roll forward a little bit, and then it'll go solid. To get it but to you're mesh. already there. So. All right. The bottom of the hill there, where the trees are, take a right. Right down here, uh -huh. take a right. You're going to go up that rock face over there. Okay, where the white car is. Yeah. Okay. This is way too slippery. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so we had to shut it down. All right, that's All right. too bad. Okay, thank All right. you. We got the diff locker on at this point, so more traction. This is fairly muddy here, but this is making mincemeat out of this trail. But yeah, certain trails you still can't go through just because this is um, a little too muddy. And also the tires aren't really like the best for going through mud because there's really not a lot of tread on it. 
It just gets caked up pretty easily. Good morning. It's good. Yeah, you're back again, right? You're I'm here. back again. I was here two days ago. Yeah. yeah. A little, little wetter today. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, yeah. So same thing. We have the same course. You just said this time it's really, really wet. Okay. All right. I'll let you decide. You know, the other day we were having everybody do it in high range. Yeah. Because it's so slippery. Yeah. You know, I'll let you decide if you want to do it in high or low. It's entirely up to you. Okay. All right. Just be mindful of like you're gonna if you if you hook it up too much. You're gonna get understeer and oversteer. Okay. Where it's really greasy. It's like driving on Crisco. Okay. Right. Like drifting. Like you're gonna be yes. So and not always. Maybe, maybe two wheel drive. Oh, definitely not two wheel. Okay. Well, it's your it's your event. All right. <laughs> you okay. Know, well, you decide mm. how you want. But you had to make the range changes. Yes. All right. So you can do high range, low range, but just don't pull out because the sides. You know, saw the sides last time. Yeah, yeah. It's all a lot of sharp rock and it's not packed. Okay. So we don't know what's in that berm. Got we it. I don't want you getting a flat tire. Got it. That's don't all. don't be that guy. Yeah. This is fun. See some cones have been knocked down. <laughs> it is a little bit greasy, <laughs> a little muddy. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! A little sideways, a little drift action. Way under steery. <laughs> that's that's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, if this had like chunkier tires, it'd be awesome. Just gotta roll up the windows a little bit so I don't get any mud in here. Oh man, what, what a fun ride. <laughs> we got like a high speed section here. I see a lot of dark out there, so. Yup, yup, nope. Oh God. Don't want to get stuck. Don't want to be that guy. Man, I'm kicking up so much. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, here's a higher speed section. I should behave, right? Because uh, there's some mud. Ooh, maybe we'll get it to drift a little bit. Okay, this section's a bit dry. Oh, oh, oh. Crazy fun. I gotta be careful here. Lots of mud, lots of mud. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun, man. Woo! What a great off roader. Off-roading in the Sequoia TRD Pro, two thumbs up. That was a lot of fun. Had some trouble getting into four high and four low, switching between the two, but I think it's because the gears weren't really unmeshing yet because I wasn't going far enough. So basically just drive forward a little bit 
and you know it'll kind of switch between the two and again these are pre-production prototype cars so this doesn't reflect the final build quality but i'm sure they'll iron out those tweaks before it gets to your driveway but off-roading man this is a ton of fun we're just leaving Eagles Canyon Raceway now and we're heading back to Toyota headquarters and you might notice that I'm sitting in a different Toyota Sequoia. This is the TRD Pro. So it's not the luxurious experience that you can get out of the Capstone or the Platinum, but I think I like this one better because it's simpler in a lot of ways. You don't have the running boards that move in and out. You don't have the variable suspension you just have the in my opinion the better fox shocks you also have that aluminum skid plate and you can also get that special orange color if you want to but overall what i've learned today is that the toyota sequoia is a fantastic three-row suv i love that the third row can slide back and forth and you've got that really unique shelving system I like how it's fairly easy to get into the third row and the second row depending on the trim you can get either the bench seating or the captain's chairs and you have plenty of leg room and then of course the first row which is most important the experience is far better than the second generation Sequoia infotainment system is great fully digital instrument cluster looks beautiful the new generation is above and beyond better than the second generation sequoia it rides better it looks better and it's much more capable it's got more power because it's got the 3.5 liter twin turbo hybrid system and it's got really nice towing capability up to 9,000 pounds and depending on which model that you get you can actually tow up to 9,520 pounds so just a little bit more, which is always nice. That means that towing that big boat that I was towing around should be very possible because that was 7,500 pounds. And it was really easy driving that thing around. It, it felt like I was towing nothing. Yeah, it felt a little bit slower when you're just, you know, trying to get up to speed. And also when you're braking, you have to make sure that you give enough space to bring everything down to a halt. But this thing is really capable of doing that. And the performance is what you'd expect out of the Sequoia. A lot of power, again, that V6 twin turbo, hybrid, fantastic. And it should get you better mileage than the outgoing version. So let's wrap it up right there. I wanna thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. If you've learned something or if you found this entertaining, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we make a new video. Uh, let's end it right there. Thank you again. My name's Hanson. This has been the Toyota Sequoia, and I'll see you in the next one.